We're back and today is Thursday morning and yesterday I didn't do my shoulder workout but I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna do my shoulder workout and then my grip workout which is what I do on Thursday or I'm gonna do my grip workout and then my shoulder workout and I'm gonna post both and I'll, pro I'll use this video, this intro on both videos and or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll use it for the for the shoulder workout because I missed that yesterday. I had to deal deal with something personal. Um, what is it? Yeah. But um, um, uh, today is shoulder day, like I said, and um, the, the military press is one of my lifts for the challenge. Uh, let me know what day this year I'm gonna hit the uh, hit uh, 135 for eight on the on the military press, 100 bucks, plus all the other lifts that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, are going to be written down below in the description so uh, enjoy enjoy my shoulder workout and uh, let's see if i hit any prs i'm on the roof and today's thursday i missed my shoulder workout yesterday because i have to deal with something in my life and um, i arranged my forearm and grip workout so i'm gonna skip the, the rig support hold as my warm-up for shoulder day i'm gonna jump straight into my military press which is one of my lifts on my challenge. I'll put the rules down below and uh, let me know in the comments when I'm gonna hit all my goals on the military press or shoulder press. It's 135 for eight. And last week I did 115 for seven. So I'm gonna do 115 again and I should be able to get eight this week, hopefully, or even like seven and a half or get an increase on my drop set if I'm doing it really properly. fucking squeezed out eight with all my fucking all the fucking strength I had so I got eight and the drop set go again I'm doing really well. I got one more than last week, and and I always push on that last rep as much as I can for 10 seconds. I try to count 10 in my head while I'm trying to push that last rep out. And you see, once it's a failure, is all you need. Well, from seven to eight reps, and that eighth one was a struggle, but I got it. And next week I'll probably do eight again, and then eventually I'll get nine. And then once I get nine, I'll increase to 120, and so on and so forth until I hit my goal and then I'll try to pass my goal uh, and then once I start cutting my strength will go down next exercise is the lateral raises last week I did 22.5 for seven so this week I'm gonna try and get seven and a half eight and let's see how it goes
I got seven. Looks like it was six in a bit. But I'll count out seven and do drop set by pound. Like a broken record, but always push on that last rep. It's the most important. And then uh, on to the fun races. races. Last week I did 25 pounds for seven. So I'm gonna try and get eight today. Hold the last rep, and that's all you gotta do. One set, go on to the next one. The last exercise I do on shoulder day is the bent over, it's not called bent over, but it's reverse flies. I do a bent over, I do a reverse dumbbell fly. And uh, last week I did, or every week, every week I, I do 27.5 for, for, for 10, for 15, for 15. I do 27.5, do 27.5 for 15. And I'll drop 10 pounds and then uh, do 17.5 for 10. And I'll keep doing that until uh, I find that I'm uh, that my form is getting better. Because I find with the with this exercise that you're able to do a lot of cheats. Uh, you're allowed to do a lot of cheats reps. So uh, watch what I do and follow that because there's a really good uh, burn on the rear delts after this and eventually I might increase the, the weight. Fuck. 
do that and you're fucking done. Your shoulders are cooked. Once it's a failure, all this should take less than 20 minutes. And enjoy your day. And then come back the next day for legs.